There we go. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. It is Monday morning here. Soulfully Aligned Women. And just waiting for everyone to come on and find us here. I am back. I'm home. And just getting my feet under me this morning. My husband just came in. He said, what, what time is your meditation at? And I said, 8 o'clock. And he looked. He goes, it is 8 o'clock. I'm all, ah! Still in vacation mode. So here I am. Good morning, Kelly. Hello. Uh, so we are back home. And just uh, making sure everything's set up here. Can't see anything on Facebook yet. Any comments. So say hello if you get in here happy to be here with you it's monday morning oh my goodness july 22nd can you believe it's we're we're halfway through summer almost it's crazy uh so i have so much to share with you that will be very beneficial for you for this full moon energy let me just say that it was a fabulous trip Mount Shasta truly is magical and I am so, so grateful to have had this opportunity and I want to let you in on a secret. I am today looking into booking a Mount Shasta retreat for soulfully aligned women next summer. So. We are moving forward with retreats. I'm also going to be finding that retreat center for uh, Banff area, Canmore, Banff in that area, so that we can have a retreat there. All right, so that little secret yet. Okay, so we had um, a very beautiful time. We were with a group of women a small intimate group of women there was only eight of us which was really lovely we spent the five days together uh, trekking all over Mount Shasta going to all sacred spaces to a beautiful uh, Panther Meadows which is a sacred space where the traditional natives would take they're elderly, they're sick. It was a beautiful ceremonial place, a beautiful healing place. Hooray for the Banff, Banff retreat, yes. <laughs> yes, I have been sitting on these retreats for like the last two years and I'm like, what, uh, what am I, what's holding me back? So, worked through that at this retreat and we are moving forward. Plus, it's always nice to go first and see the space, right? So. So definitely the Banff one is close by here and I can easily get there and see the house. The Mount Shasta one will be in the same house I was just in. Ah, oh, yes. So anyways, we trekked all over Mount Shasta, Mama Shasta. We had a most beautiful sacred journey. We went in with reverence to every space. We circled up, prayed, uh, meditated uh, on entering the space for healing, for transformation to connect with those of the highest truth and compassion. So uh, there were things that just changed me and shifted me forever. And we we also so we got to Panther Meadows. We also got to um, a beautiful prayer garden and labyrinth. We got to Castle Lake, which is a beautiful space, We and spent time in the lake. We trekked to waterfalls, um, beautiful waterfalls, and also we went to Pluto's Cave. And that's the one I want to share with you this morning, because we went to Pluto's Cave on the mountain on a Wednesday of last week as we were moving into this full moon energy. And I said to the ladies as we were traveling there I said you know we have a full moon this weekend and this full moon is actually conjunct Pluto it's in Capricorn yeah, Capricorn <laughs> almost had a minute there um, and it, it's at the final degree of Capricorn and it is conjunct Pluto which is a powerful influence 
for this full moon. Now, Pluto is the god of the underworld, like Hades, lord of the underworld. So Pluto works in the shadows and helps reveal the shadows um, that we maybe wouldn't normally see. So Pluto is about death, rebirth, transformation, revelations, new awakenings, moving into becoming aware of what is holding you back. And so what I want you to really think about, and I, I did give you some statements in here of what you can definitely, um, power statements you can use, but I also want you to think about what what do you need to own? I have a hair tickling my nose. These things happen every time I come on here. Um, what do you need to own in your life? What is happening for you that is, um, you kind of, you're going enough, enough. I need to, I need to raise the bar is we're going bigger. This is, this is what we're doing. We're going bigger. Um, what needs to be completed? What needs to be elevated in your life? Because Pluto energy can really help you with this. And so when we went to Pluto's cave, it was, it, it was amazing. It was a very hot day and Pluto's cave is kind of in a more deserty area of the mountain and we found it. Um, we actually were guided to it. And also, as soon as we walked into one part of the cave, there were, I found feathers on the ground. And I was like, picking them up, looking at them, I'm like, this, these are owl feathers. And we walked into the cave and there were these beautiful gifts of feathers, um, small feathers, and I'll show you, like small feathers like this, all around, there's two here, right? And then we, um, we were in the cave and all of a sudden Dalmain, one of the soulfully aligned women here who was with us, it was Dalmain, myself, uh, Karen Adamski, who we lovingly call Shama Mama and Sharon Dobbin or Sherry Dobbins. And Dalmain turned around and she goes, Oh, there's the owl right there. And there he was sitting on a ledge watching us. And so we sat down in gratitude and reverence to the owl. It's a beautiful barn owl. Well, now the barn owl, <laughs> the significance, the spiritual significance of barn owl is death, birth, transformation, seen in the dark, seen the shadows. So not only were we in Pluto's cave at a time where, where, where the energy was building to the full moon conjunct Pluto, but we also were gifted with the owl energy there with the same meaning, okay, so as Pluto. So it was very powerful. We, we gathered enough feathers for each woman at the retreat. We took back feathers so that each of us <clears throat> would have two if we choose, if we chose to uh, maybe create some earrings out of or just put on their altar, whatever they choose. So it was very significant and a powerful reminder of this is a time of soulful revelations. This is a time of soulful transformations. This is an energy in this moon where you can look at what's going on and go deep into these shadows, go deep into them. What are they saying to you? What is there for you? These Everything is for your highest soul good, your highest soul purpose, your growth. It's not about the outside circumstances. It's about what's going on inside of you. Because what's going on inside of you is reflecting externally. So if things are going on outside of you that you're not happy with, go deep, go deep, go deep, go deeper into that beautiful soul of yourself into who you are and what are you accepting perhaps you you've you know i noticed something that i needed to it was a kick in the butt this week of like you are you are accepting this the universe will give you what you will receive 
And if you are only willing to receive this much, that's what you're going to get. And until you decide you're ready for more, you're ready for more light, more radiance, more soul growth, more you, it's not going to happen. And so it's a beautiful time for you to go deep into your soul evolution and what it's all about. So this full moon is, uh, it can reveal more of what's been happening and what you need to reflect on from recent changes perhaps that you've been going through because we've had a lot of Uranus energy this past month and Uranus is all about change, oftentimes quick change, things that are coming out of left field. And I mean, I mean, just watch the news. We've had that, right? So um, now this full moon can be an opportunity for you to sit in and reflect. So my beautiful medicine woman, my beautiful soulfully aligned women, um, we've just come through medicine woman as uh, um, there's a group of us that did the medicine woman journey with me through the month of July. And this it, medicine woman loves rituals. She loves rituals. She loves full moons, new moons, the energy around that. So this is a full moon of going out, placing your feet on the earth, bare feet on the earth. We can do that right now because we're in summer and it is beautiful. So put your bare feet on the earth and call in owl to help you see, to help you see in the dark, to help reveal what it is that you need to release, what it is that you need to own, what it is that you need to be elevated in your life. What areas do you need to work on? And, and just, you know, sit with that for a few minutes and then journal on it and make this your full moon ritual. And, and it's still like, I know the full moon was yesterday, but we are still in the full moon energy. I did not get a chance because we got in late last night. Um, so I didn't get a chance to do any full moon rituals. So for me, tonight will be the time when I do it. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to say is, of course, tomorrow is I meet with the Soulfully Aligned Creative Mystic Group 2. We are meeting tomorrow at 9.30. Wednesday is a new uh, painting session with me for free. This is a paint a prayer for this month, our paint a prayer is with the mystic. So come and join me on Wednesday and I will repost the link again today for people. It's in uh, Instagram. It's in my bio uh, link tree. So you can already see it there to sign up. You, It is free, but you do need to sign up in order to get the link and the recording afterwards. And I will share it again in um, all my other groups. So it is here. Now the card for you to, for this week, beautiful card. So I was very much pulled to, um, pull from the ancient stones Oracle, which is a brand new deck from Rebecca Campbell, all the ancient stones, the ancient sacred temples and circles. And this beautiful card, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Ah, oh, I love it. It is a stone circle. And I'm going to read you a little bit of what it says for you. Alignment. It's coming together. Precision. So beautiful message of things are coming together for you. Um, and she talks about all the different, you know, um, temples and stone circles built by ancient people like Stonehenge in England, the pyramids of Giza, um, the temples in Mexico. Um, they were built by ancient peoples in precise astronomical alignment with the sun and the stars. The alignment card is a wonderful one to receive in a reading. It's a sign that things are really starting to sink for you. The physicalization of the flow that's coming into your life after a period of building. It's likely you've been working toward this for some time or that you've recently made some decisions that have started to have a real impact. Whatever you've been focusing on, 
the cosmos is aligning in your favor and things are beginning to click into place. Perhaps you've decided to focus on what really matters to you, making decisions from what feels congruent rather than what the outside world told you to do. Perhaps you've made some significant changes in your physical life to bring into harmony with how you've changed on the inside. Your ideas, dreams, and visions are coming together. Your time has come. Congruence and alignment are here. Make the most of this moment. Celebrate and claim your space. Precision and attention to detail have manifested into the physical. It's time to take a step back, see what you've created, and uh, appreciate the transformation that's occurred. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Let the harvest be here. What a beautiful card and what a beautiful time in a full moon to step back and take a look at what we have created because the full moon brings full light. It, it, it is the culmination of what you've been creating. Um, it also, this is also such a beautiful card um, coming back because I see, I see the, the top of the triangle just reminds me of Mount Shasta of coming back from the mountain and the magic and the mysticism around that mountain. The energy there is very, very high. Um, and I found the entire week, I was just so filled with energy and, you know, physical energy too. physical energy of like, I'm good to go. Let's go do this. You know, let's, let's track up this mountain. Let's go for another hike. Let's go for another prayer. Um, and that, you know, I wasn't experiencing any of the, the undulational waves that we get in life. Uh, except one day, one day I was like in the afternoon, I got, I was like, oh, okay, I'm so relaxed, tired today. Um, okay. So time for meditation. So let's see what comes through for us today. I'm going to invite you to settle in and just, ah, get comfortable, take in some nice, long, deep breaths. In through your nose, big sigh out as you close your eyes, bringing your in breaths all the way down to your root chakra. And you want to take at least four big, long, deep breaths. And when you're ready, come back to your normal breathing pattern. Oh, sinking into your heart. Feeling into your heart. Just bringing your full awareness into your heart space, feeling that space of peace and calm. Leaning into that beautiful, calming energy, perhaps a white light a ball of light beginning to grow in your heart space. Like the beautiful full moon, see this light begin to glow and let it grow. And let this full moon light continue to grow in your heart. Let it keep expanding. And 
let it grow bigger and bigger. And as it grows, it magnifies your feelings of love and gratitude. So imagine this full moon right here in your chest space, growing and expanding, radiating this light out. Feeling so much love and gratitude. Breathe into it. Feel that energy growing. Remembering a time when you felt that overflow of love, that overflow of gratitude. And let it keep growing until that light is all around you and you are standing in this beautiful sphere of moonlight, of heart light. And bring your awareness right back to the center of your heart. Allowing yourself to be in this beautiful sphere of light with your point of perception, your point of awareness right at the center of your heart, opening your heart even more, sending that love down from your heart, a beautiful channel of light down down deep into the earth. So going all the way down your body see a channel of crystalline light filled with love going down to the earth connect with mother earth and feel her open up to receive you she loves receiving your love and you are sending love down to her and she's welcoming you with a big hug. She opens her arms and you walk into her arms. And feel her embrace you. She is so filled with love and nurturance and support. Mm. Imagine all that you can accomplish when you are connected with Mother Earth and her strength and her vitality and all her healing comes up into your body. Bring it up, breathe it up into your body, breathe it into your heart. Oh, it feels so good. You feel stronger, you stand taller. Mm, you are stronger, full of life vitality, supported all around you. And bring your awareness back to your heart and feel that channel of light shooting straight up from your heart all the way up into the universe, connecting to the great source, the heart of the universe. So feel your heart directly sync up with the heart of the universe that immense beautiful powerful love light source light source of all that is the seed of life that comes down that energy that life force that comes down and connects with Mother Earth and all that she has to offer and creates the seeds and creates the life. 
Feel that flowing down into your body. Just let it flow down like a beautiful waterfall of light. Let it flow right down through the center of your body, through that channel. Going deeper in and deeper into Mother Earth, anchoring you in. Bringing that light through. You are the bridge. And just receive. Just keep feeling that light flowing into you. Allowing yourself to open, to receive, to be cleansed and cleared. Beautiful. And I want you to imagine that you're standing feet on the earth, looking up at that great full moon, that great full moon in Capricorn with the Pluto energy supporting you are fearless, you're full of courage to face the light of this moon to look straight in the eye of the shadows or fears that are holding you back from your full radiance. You are a powerful woman. And when you align with this light and when you are aligned fully in the wisdom of your body, and open to all of this. You are even more powerful, empowered, not in the negative sense, in the most positive, beautiful sense that you are bringing all that you have to give, all your gifts, all your soul gifts. You are letting them come through without blocking, without any hindrance, without any restriction. You are allowing it to flow and radiate out of you. This is when you are at your most powerful. This is when you are serving for the highest good of all. And this feels so free. You're standing in your sovereign being. You are so free to radiate this light out. So allow this full moon energy to shine down on you and work with this energy. Partner up with it. Talk to this full moon energy and all of the energy supporting it, the Pluto energy. Mm. This is the energy of radical revolution. Oh, this is the energy of kundalini awakening. This is the energy of a freedom fighter of liberation. Cutting through the binds that are holding you down. What are you ready to cut loose? What are you ready to let go of so that you can truly expand into your most radiant self. Let this full moon shine the light. Be super, super aware as you move through your day. What is coming up for you? What is going on around you? What is bringing up strong emotions within you? It's time to let it heal, to bring it forward into the light of the moon. Let it dissolve. Oh, we have some strong Neptune energy that can help dissolve away 
any confusion. So also with that beautiful Neptune energy moving in also, let be sure to catch yourself when you zone out, when you drift off. Because Neptune can have a tendency to take us there. And if you want to zone out, do it consciously. Where you're allowing that time of zoning out, the time of just letting your mind go, be a time of dissolving some of these fears and constrictions. So just consciously think, I'm just going to let my mind wander and I'm going to allow the energy of Neptune to dissolve through any heaviness that is making me want to run away from facing it. Just be here for a minute, breathing. Breathe into your heart and let that moon shine down on you. Feel your feet on the earth. And your affirmations. I embrace all that I've created. I welcome flow success and ease. I embrace all that I've created. I welcome flow, success and ease. Deeply begin to move your body as we are coming back. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Give yourself a big stretch. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so remembering that shadow work is enlightening, it helps. Take the heaviness away. And that's what we can do. Take the heaviness away. Lay it on the altar. Ask that high potent love to move in. What would happen if I stepped aside and allowed high potent love to flow through me? That higher, higher love. Let it flow through me and out around me into the world around me and see how that changes and shifts things for you, for me, for you. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with me. I love you guys. That is your message to work with through this week because this full moon energy moves through for the next few days. And I will post our card for you also. I'll take a picture and post it. And don't forget to come and join me for the free painting workshop on Wednesday. All right, painting with the mystic. So we're moving into mystic energy this month, this next month in August. It's going to be all about the mystic. And uh, September is our new Soulfully Aligned Creative Mystic certification course begins again. So uh, August is going to be all about 
being the mystic, the creative mystic. What does this mean? What is it all about? How do you embrace that mystic within you? We've just moved out or we're moving out. We're finishing up uh, next week with Medicine Mother or Medicine Woman, I should say, not Medicine Wonder. Medicine Woman. And I deeply connected with her on the mountain. It was phenomenal. So those of you in the Medicine Woman group, I can't wait to share with you. And I meet up with you guys next to uh, Tuesday. No, not Tuesday. When am I meeting with you? I am meeting with you on Friday. This Friday, <laughs> just looking at my calendar, this Friday, Medicine Woman group, we meet to paint together and reflect on the entire month and how it's been for us. So looking forward to that. All right. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day and enjoy this summer weather. I love you. Bye.